da 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 I just happened to go grocery shopping and I just saw this kid standing on the sidewalk by himself holding one of these so I just went and stole it from him. Do you know how lucky you have to be to find a situation like that? For some reason the kid said that he had to get the PlayStation with like an extra three controllers and like this media remote and that it was like part of this whole like bundle thing. I don't know it seems like the kid got scammed or ripped off if you ask me. So let's take a look at this box here. So on the back we get lightning speed with the integrated CPU and SSD. We get breathtaking immersion. And of course we get PlayStation exclusive stunning games. And for highly applauded backwards compatibility with PS4. So on the other side we get the contents, Astral's Playroom, which is a like demo game for the PS5. So on the bottom we just get logos for different brands and a quick explanation on how to transfer your data from your PS4 onto your new PS5. So here's the top of the box, PlayStation Blue, very secure, protective sticker from stealing PS5s. So we get the nice box within a box. Plain all white box. Open up the front here, upside down. So hopefully this is the right way to open it. Got, whoa, a nice pull tab here, okay. So this system should probably be standing up, but I have to open it this way. So we have a PlayStation 5 quick start guide. I will go through this book at the end. Safety guide, the regular power cord, similar to the PS4. And then here we have the nice new PS5 all white controller. Oh, and it has black triggers as well. That's pretty nice. By the way, I unboxed the Cosmic Red and Galaxy Black controllers in a previous video, so check the description below. So yeah, this is a nice all white with crystal buttons for the D-pad. Nice, really big and wide touchpad. Feels so sleek. Damn! It's actually very small, tiny PlayStation symbols. Bonus points for details! One side here. This is, oh wow, an HDMI cord. It's actually completely plain. There are no Sony or PlayStation logos on it at all. And this should be the base, the dual purpose base. Store the system vertically or horizontally. And then here, the USB type C cable for the controller. And it only has this little USB symbol on one of the ends. It does not have any Sony or any PlayStation logos on it at all. And after removing that top box, we have the mumbo jumbo. Oh boy. This is a massive carton at the ends. And holy moly, this boy is massive. Oh mama. So this boy is huge, but it's actually not that heavy. The fat PS3 is actually way heavier. So here's the nice alien looking sleek Seto Kaiba. We get the nice carved out PlayStation logo on one side. It's actually cut through. So on the back, it looks like some crazy sci-fi skyscraper. We got the power, HDMI, Ethernet, and two USB ports. Very simple. Plain empty on the bottom side. USB, and then a USB Type-C end. Power and eject buttons. Inside of one of the walls, Sony engraving textured PlayStation symbols like you see on the controller. If you look at the back of the console, PlayStation symbols. So you just line up the hooks from one square to the next. It's just friction with rubber base is on base has a very nice curve to match the the all natural curve the all natural so the base has rubber at the bottom it's nice and sturdy hidden in the back looks like you have a floating console it's pretty cool looking i do find it a bit odd that the cd drives at the bottom and not on the top it just literally slides off so there's a little hole at the bottom of the console that you could just poke your plastic cover to hide that hole. Bottom of the base you can slide this around and ooh we get a nice little screw in here. Secrets. Fully turn the base till it snaps. Pull into the bottom 
and now this has to screw into the hole so the hooks go on the back and I'm just using my nail here but you just give a light little tighten to the screw at the bottom and now the base is sturdy and now you have the console slightly floating on a nice vertical base and again the base is very grippy so the console is not going anywhere now I got the original big mama here to compare sizes and man old mama small mama that is a pretty significant chunk up there old big mama here is like small beans now plugging it in and turning it on it beeps just like a regular PS4, but it has this really cool LED light strip on the top here. And you can see it glowing very nicely in the dark. And you get this super wicked looking explosion animation when you first turn it on. The console light also lights up white. You have to go through a few beginner setups like your display area, installing the disc right side up, choosing your power option, license agreements, and then finally connecting to the internet and updating the system. Waiting for this update, you can enjoy the ambient glow of the white and blue LEDs. And then after the system updates finally complete, you have to update the controller. And after all the updates set and done, you can actually scroll a very nice library of new avatars for your PSN account. They're actually very clear and look very nice. And once you reach about halfway, it has the good old PS3 original avatars from when PSN accounts first came out. Add a new user. You can choose how much data collection Sony will take and then you can finally be welcomed to the PS5's home menu. With the first thing being shoved in your face is Astro's Playroom, a very cool free game to demo the PS5 and its new features as well as the new controller features like adaptive triggers and haptic feedback. Get a very nice precise large touchpad, more precise motion sensing, built-in microphones in the controller now. Everyone will be able to chat online. And you can see Little Astro here being a really fun playable demo to test out the new PS5 hardware and controller features. It's fun and cute playing as this little robot in this digital world in a bunch of very full and visually appealing worlds. And what's extra cool with this new controller is that it has a lot of vibration control. Very fine tuned to have sharp little hits or wide long slower vibrations to change the feel. And when used in Astro on walking on different materials on the floor, going on hard stone and switching to hard glass actually feels different. You can actually feel the tiny steps Astro takes on these different materials. When walking on wood, the vibrations are more sharp and short. But when walking on grass, the vibrations feel softer, more drawn out. It almost feels like you're walking on something wet and soft compared to the hard wood. Same with the triggers. When climbing on this wall, there's actually force put into the left and right triggers. Squeeze the triggers harder than you normally would and there's feedback fighting against your press. So it actually feels like there's resistance. Or a part where you're riding up a machine up the wall, the small vibrations in the triggers actually makes it feel like you're feeling the tiny bumps in the stone. And when grabbing on to like elastic materials, the controller kind of makes it feel like you're grabbing onto the resistance that a rubber band would give you. So it's another feature in these controllers that give you another level to enhance your gaming experience. I'm actually quite surprised and impressed by it. It just feels very smooth and very cool. And once you're done, you can easily browse the PlayStation Store lag free. It actually runs very smooth compared to the PS4. And it doesn't even count as its own software app. It literally just runs right off the main menu. You can check the storage size of solid state storage. With everything said and done, you have about a little over 600 gigabytes of usable storage for your games and your saved photos and videos and other media. So I'm going to pop in Death Stranding here to test out the disk drive and you can hear it's actually kind of loud but it shouldn't be spinning that much while playing the game. It's mostly for installation and then you can hear a regular beep for the eject button and the disk slides out nice and smooth. 
And for all you trophy hunters out there, the PS5 doesn't just save pictures of your trophies, it also records a 30 second video of the moment you earned the trophy. And you're able to play back well, the video showcasing what trophy you, you earned, as well doing. as the actual trophy pop that happens on the top corner of the screen. I have to say this is probably one of the best and my most favorited feature of the PS5. I think Hoodle senses something. It's over! Jesus! What's Well, that's pretty much the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Now, this part is just for all you hardcore losers out there who actually are interested in seeing what's in this quick start and safety guide. So here's the getting started on how to attach the base either vertically, just like I showed with the screw at the bottom, or horizontally lining the hooks up in between all of the symbols here. The obvious HDMI and AC power cord then it's just saying you can plug in a LAN cable, press the power button, use USB type C ports for your controller, customize all the options, play great games digitally on the PS5, set up parental controls, understanding the rating system and setting up child accounts, understanding the home screen and the very beta prototype of the dashboard here's the control center pop in the disc in a disc tray charging your controller muting the controller using multiple controllers and then properly shutting down the console the power indicator white and orange lights and then now we have French and let's see if there's anything interesting in the safety guide safeties for chomps the only thing you really need to know is do not block the vents. You should know from the 360 days. Okay, this is somewhat interesting. The specifications, processor specifications, here's the memory module. This is hitting PC Master Race specs here, eh? Here's all the different kinds of playable discs. Apparently you can change the console region somehow. And then the copyright and trademarks on the last page. And then now we get good old French. Okay, so that's it. There's the books. The video's done. Go away, you nerds. So I guess a lot of people are kind of like forced to get these extra controllers. I don't know why this kid got like three of them though. Pull a box out. It's just in here. Yo, what the? The hell? Yo, damn kid ripped me off, bro.